Hello, my name is Yonis. This is Oglin. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you when you're working on a Unity project on one device, on one computer, and basically you close the project on one computer and you go to a different location to use a different computer, how to continue working on the same project. In order to do this, you need to use a powerful tool which is within Unity called Collaborate. Let's get started by creating a new project, a 3D project, and I'm just going to call this project Collab. I'm going to select Create. Let's add a terrain. Right click, 3D, and Terrain. Okay, I've added my terrain. I'm going to go to File and select Save. I'm going to go to File and select Save Project. Now I want to push this project into the cloud. In order to do this, I need to make sure that I have logged on to my Unity first. And then I need to click on this little Sun icon, which is the Collaborate icon. So you can see here it says Collaborate. Now, when you click on this icon, you will be prompt to put uh, a project ID. I'm just going to click Set Project ID. And then the project settings will pop, pop up the window, uh, the panel. So I'm just going to click and drag it here. So is that all times now? And what I will need to do is select the organization. Now, if you have not set up the organization, your organization will be usually your name. So go through the uh, your account within uh, the Unity's website to actually set the organization. Now, use an existing uh, Unity project ID. I can click here or I can click here, create project ID. Give a few seconds and the project ID has generated. And now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the collaborate. OK, so because I turned on my collaborate, now everything, all the stuff are basically uploaded into the cloud. Uh, latest version available. I could actually install the latest version of uh, Unity. I'm not going to do this for now. So what I need to do now is go back to here and I will be able to actually see all the changes I have made. I'm just going to click here. I'm going to put a summary. I'm going to say uh, terrain is now added. Uh, I could actually put stage one is now complete. Terrain is, is now added. So I'm going to click publish. And because I click publish, all the files that and uh, basically all the all the changes I have made are now uploaded onto the cloud. So if I click here on the history, I will be able to actually see the changes. So 11 seconds ago, I have uh, made upload some uh, changes, which says stage one is now complete. Terrain is now added. So five changes were made. So I'm going to close this project. I'm going to go back to the Unity Hub. I'm going to open it. And I would like to basically continue on this project by adding further changes, make further improvements. I'm going to right click here, 3D object cube. So I've added a cube. And now I'm going to go to uh, Collab. I'm going to go on Changes. Before I do that, let's go to File, select Save. Let's go to File, Save Project. So as you can see here, I've made the net one more change here. I'm just going to put stage 2 is now complete. And then click Publish. OK, so if on stage 2 I've made changes that basically broke my project, I could now go to the history and I can actually see that 
on I'm on stage two at the moment and stage two is broke my project I could actually click here and then click go back and what we'll do will basically take my project the way it was prior to the stage two which means that my project is fully working again also by actually doing this uh, using the collaborate tool when you actually work go to a different computer and you have logged on with your account let me show you here and you launch unity hub you will be able to see a great out sections as you can see here i've got some other projects that i've been working with in the past and because I have not downloaded this project on this, onto this account, onto this computer, they look grayed out. Now, when you're actually using Colab, you will be able to basically click here, locate the folder where you want to store the project. I'm just going to go to, let's go to Documents, and let's go to Unity, and let's select the folder. And basically what will happen now, Unity will pull all the files, all the folders, and all the elements basically within your Unity project, this particular Unity project, and store them onto your local machine. And as a result, you will be able to actually go through and continue your project uh, by improving your project further. I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you will use these new powerful skills uh, in order to create uh, powerful video games or mobile applications or software applications in general.